Incoming transmission. Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek The Next Generation build the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. From our friends over at Hero Collector, a uh, big shout out to Hero Collector, have uh, sent this issue over. It uh, gives me the opportunity to do a build along review for you fine folks at home. And that's all possible down to your awesome support over the years as well, which I can't thank you enough for. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for magazine review and a build along with, uh, I think one of the biggest issues that we've received so far. Uh, we're going to be looking at building out uh, some more of the outer panelling as well as the snake head of the Enterprise as well. So, oh, I'm so jazzed for this one. Looks like a lot of small little components. So hopefully nothing that we can't uh, manage together ourselves. So we put all the parts to one side and we'll have a look at the magazine contents. So here we have issue five. It's actually one of the thicker ones as well. So it's like, okay, there's gonna be a lot of instructions here. <laughs> so we have our stages 15, 16, 17, and 18 that we're gonna be going through. Uh, data lore, uh, one, of the, one of my favorite episodes out there uh, among them. Uh, so we have uh, Angel 1, uh, 11001001. So again, the binaries. Uh, too short a season, uh, forever young or uh, badly aged. And um, so we have when the battle breaks, uh, home soil and coming of age as well. So some fantastic teasers on some of the art and design that went into those awesome episodes as well. So here we have our snakehead uh, substructure here. So our uh, stage 15 parts, stage 16 and 17, we're building out our um, saucer section. And we also have uh, the battle bridge as well. Then we have the top of our snake head and some more paneling, windows and electronics. And uh, yeah, so there's gonna be a good bit to go through here as well. So placement of the windows and those electronics as well. So our assembly instructions, we're gonna be diving into fleshing out that saucer section and uh, finishing off, oh, we have our shuttle bay doors actually here as well that we're gonna be working on, which is cool. Our battle bridge getting that whole saucer section squared away and braced. And then we have our deck plating, windows and reflectors. We're gonna do, we're gonna do some more testing. And that's gonna be our build. So here we have our crystalline entity and lore. Little schematics there as well. Some fantastic art by Andy Probert. The early part of Star Trek 1988, we're up to here now. Angel One. Matriarchal Society of Memory Serves. The Binars. Again, involving some awesome holodeck stuff in there as well. Very interesting concept art here as well. That's kind of cool actually. Kind of a more developed lobe as well because again, you're again asymmetrical brains. That's pretty interesting. And we're looking at, hey, that's what we're, we're in space dock presently. Tasha Yar. And uh, too short a season. And again, Michael Kuderick Sternbeck survey the surface of more than four. How cool. Nice personal craft here as well. Things are only impossible until they are not. Home soil. That's actually a really good episode. You know, what? what is sentient life? And again, coming of age. Ah, oh, Wesley. Inside our shuttle. So our Type 7. One of the more funkier of shuttles. And uh, that's our magazine. So uh, let's build out our saucer section and our battle bridge area. Yay! This is awful hard to fit, it, fit into the uh, area that I'm recording in. Uh, I remember so much struggling in the earlier videos <laughs> opening these. And I'm sure you're like, just get a scissors. But yeah, 
that's me. There's our that's my head substructure. And then we have our braces for our saucer section. And that's all our parts there. Okay, here we go. So I did tell you that we were going to be uh, filling out our saucer, didn't I? <laughs> um, so it looks like these guys are going to be going along the inner part. So the instructions overall have been very clear. And for me, probably one of the most impressive things is the visual guide and how intuitive the build is as well because sometimes again instructions and all that kind of jazz would uh, be a little bit more challenging I'm a very visual learner and I suppose you know for people with different abilities that's a very good thing that it's kind of open up to the more you know read paragraph by paragraph instructions laid out very linearly but again fortifying that with the uh, strong visual language totally takes a lot of the kind of pressure off now I'm using a different screwdriver. The other one was fine. And uh, you could quite easily build along with that one. Pretty securely. So our brace is there for our step A in our section 15 build. So we didn't do anything with the snake head yet. But we're moving on to stage 16. And I can see some of the shuttle bay hatches and some more screws. So we have BP and BM screws. So we have our shuttle bays. Different sizes, which is good. So we're going to bring back in our saucer section. And we are bracing that off. I say bracing it, we're actually uh, affixing it to the prior bills that we've done. But they're going to go into the braces that we've just assembled in stage 15. So stage 17 looks very similar on the structure side. So this is going to be capping off. And we're going to move over to our snake head. So this is our the back of our kind of star drive and uh, we have our cool so these need to kind of go in behind these sections here okay this will be interesting in right these lights now may pose a little bit of a a finagling issue. I right, just had to take that off screen just to get a bit of a better purchase on it. Actually, it looks really nice when it's in there. So the lights, we need to move it out of place. It's got to be a bit gentle, but it does need a little bit of force just to get it past the lights. There we go. So that one's not placed. There we go. Here's our two shuttle bays. Shuttle bay one and two. And we're going to fix these in with our BP screws. So they don't go anywhere. Okay. 
that's one down. I'm very conscious of the, the wiring and stuff like that here, just to make sure it's nice and neat. And there's our shuttle bay, one and, or two and three, I mean. Our main shuttle bay is up on our saucer section. Okay, cool. All right, we're getting there. So here's our section 17. Hull piece. I say hull piece actually, that's not right. Structural piece, structural piece. We have a further inner brace. Come on. Come on through. Awesome. And then our battle bridge. Okay, we're good. Look at all the BM screws. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm just gonna get them all placed out. Okay, so some structural pieces and some outer pieces. So here's our battle bridge. And that needs to be placed. Ooh, magnets. Man, why won't you go in? Yeah, you need to really kind of push that in. And there's our battle bridge. Oh my goodness. Now that's just in there with pressure at the moment, but it doesn't look like it's gonna fall out. And we actually have magnets on this side. We're back in with this section here. And we're gonna be fitting in our last structural piece. Oh my goodness. Hence all the BM screws. And we're gonna be bracing this off. Yep. And one screw just went flying there. So I know I have a spare one. And I shall look for that other screw another time. <laughs> look at all the additional mounting areas on this saucer section for the paneling. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. So this should give you an idea of the overall size. Okay. So I'm gonna flip this over because we are putting, actually no, I can't flip it over. Okay, I'm gonna go with the, the way it's done here. But I am gonna fit this into place as best as I can. Okay. Oh, I just knocked it over. Okay. So that's in there. So we need four BM screws for this section. Unifying the piece. Interesting geometry, isn't it? Ah, 
have to like hats off to concept artists because they do put a lot of thought into you know the practical side of fantastical machinery but you know ship builders and all that like and even companies like here collector and Egomas, like that's so crazy how they've manufactured these pieces oh, sugar okay let's use magnetism thread it in okay cool so we're putting our last brace in here so again held together with four bm screws Okay, that, I don't know how heavy that is, but there's weight in that. That's cool. All right, let's see what the next steps are. Okay, we're on to parts 18. There's a lot going on here. DM screws. That's metal. That's our battle bridge surface here on the top of our snake head. That's our clamps for our saucer section. We have some more magnets in place in here. Um, nice paint apps actually as well. And again, metal for surface. And see some of these are reflector panels as well. So windows. So step one, we're gonna get our section. And we're gonna put in our lights. So we know where they have to be blacked out. I wonder now, should I use my tweezers? Yeah, a little bit better. <laughs> okay. Practice. Practice makes perfect. That was three, right? Yeah, three and three. And then some alternate ones here. Oh no. And this one sits by itself in here. And two more. I know I have some spares of uh, blanks and windows, but I know there's some different sizings going on. Do you know what? The tweezer is very, very useful for just finessing them in at the very end. in there yeah you don't want to get in there do you all right here we go Oof. 
who's turning around I am. Oh. Yeah, definitely the tweezers there. These are very pointy ones, but probably normal kind of cuticle tweezers or anything like that. I'll probably suffice. Okay. Windows are in situ. Right. And then we have our two plates. So they go on either side. Like that. That looks like the way they go. And judging by the writing, that's not the way they go, because they go this way, other way around. <laughs> Shiny surface inwards. Makes perfect sense when you literally put two seconds of thought in. Come on. So it says to put the inner ones in first. So I'm not gonna put them in too, too quickly, or tightly, I mean, because I think we need to give on the opposite side for our lights. And last one. Okay. So this is where our lights come into place. these guys in while I have them locked in friction shall keep you in place so say we all and I shall do the same to you so the yellow one goes on the top I tend to pull these apart a little bit Okay, that's one. Don't know why I'm holding the screw for this. Screwdriver. Let's both of them in. And we shall do a little illumination test. Okay. So the windows look pretty good. I'm happy with them. And they're fairly flush. Okay, so where's my warp core? Uh, they need to go into C and D. See, I looked that time. <laughs> I did the last time, but I still got it wrong. Damn it. Okay. Yay. We have illumination. I'm happy with that. So that's pretty much the build. And I just wanted to test this out. And there's our snake head, which we have our substructure down there for but we're not putting together in issue five. So folks, that's it for issue five. Uh, we finished off the upper layer of our saucer section, giving us a huge set of scale. We did an additional panel piece with insert lighting and electronics, which we tested. We have our battle bridge assembled, which I have on top of my snake head here. And uh, we have the substructure for that, that is awaiting instructions. So, um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the build and found it useful for a build along. Um, again, thanks for your support on the channel. You can find all the links in the description box below for this series, as well as the playlist. And uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, become a Patreon, like uh, the awesome members out there. You guys absolutely rock. 
um, supporting the channel every month. And you can share and like and subscribe to the video as well, get the word out there. And um, if you want to pick up some general cool Star Trek merch as well as some Irish Trekkie merch, check out the um, merch store as well. The links are all in the description box. And uh, come and say hi over on Twitter and Instagram. I'd love to uh, hear from you. Let me know in the comments below uh, what are your thoughts on the build so far, what have been the challenges and the successes, and maybe what have you done to you know, improve upon what's already an awesome looking model. I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Thanks for stopping by, checking out today's video, and uh, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, and goodbye.